Oh, what's up? It's Simon from Lake Up. Hey, I want to share with you the best binoculars I've ever used. I happen to own them too, which is awesome. <laughs> These are Nikon Action binoculars. These are 10 to 22 power zoom with a 50 millimeter downrange lens. When I was in the market for good binoculars, because I like to hunt, and I had junk binoculars before. When I was in the hunt, I did a lot of research, and these were the only ones I found that were a notable brand with this kind of zoom range at the time. I've had these for almost a decade. And what's awesome about the zoom is that it's one hand, it's right here, like that, boom. I'm all the way up to 10, 10 power, all the way up to 22. What I wanted, uh, I, had to, I, had, I had a couple qualifiers. One is I wanted them to be higher zoom power than my rifle scope because I want to be able to, to use binoculars first before I pull the scope up. And when the scope is just for the finishing move, this is where I do all my research. So I wanted to be done doing any sort of researching, questioning myself through the rifle scope. That's not the right tool for the job. And so that was one. I was just a need to be higher power than my scope. The other one was at the time I had a 40, 40 millimeter uh, down range lens on my scope and 40 millimeter on my binoculars. I wanted to catch more light. So I wanted higher quality glass and I wanted a ideally more surface area on my lens. And so I got that too. My third qualifier was a reputable brand. And at the time I was sold out for Nikon. I've been using Nikon camera cameras for a long time, 20 years plus 25 years. Let me think about that even longer than 25 years. And I'm not even going to say the number. Okay. I'm getting old and I love Nikon. Since then I've been converted to Vortex, but Vortex binoculars aren't cheap. I was able to find these on sale. It was like Christmas special. I had gift cards and it worked out really well for me. But still, if you're willing to pay full price under 200 bucks, these are great, great binoculars. I have, I've spent, I don't even know how many hours looking through these, right? So I've spent a lot of time on these binoculars. And they've spent, uh, they've spent hundreds of hours, hundreds and hundreds of hours on my shoulders. So uh, I'm here to tell you, they're high, high quality. The great thing about really good binoculars is that if you take care of them, you keep them dry, you keep them clean, uh, you don't bang them around, you don't drop them, you keep them in, you know, air conditioned space. I mean, I might be handing these down to my grandkids. You know what I mean? You take care of binoculars, they'll last a really long time. The only thing that can really go bad are the seals, like the O-rings. And, uh, and so if you just take care of the temperature control, and again, you keep them clean and dry, I mean, those things will last a really long time. Because what will happen is if the seals do wear out, um, then eventually you'll get moisture inside and they'll start fogging. Once that happens, they're pretty much trashed. But if you can keep these in really good shape, they'll last a really long time. Uh, you can see that I've kind of marked up on here with Sharpie because um, I was kind of annoyed that, you know, it's like they're mostly used for hunting. Sure, you can use them for bird watching and stuff like that. But gold, guys, gold, shiny gold. Yeah, at the time, I didn't want to spring for the extra $20 for the camo. Um, yeah, I did, I did, I was not thinking about how long or often I would be using these things and how I'd be hunting and I'd be wearing camo and then I'd have these big black binoculars right up front, but that's okay. It's okay. If I, if I really wanted to really be serious about it, they make, you know, camo tape that I can like tape these up with and get, I don't know, 80% of the way there, but it's fine. It's really fine. So it's about time to Sharpie over it again. It's kind of wearing, wearing out gold, gold foil. I just, why? 
Okay, enough of that. So you can see the specs here. Um, 3.8 degrees uh, at 10x. So what does that mean? So if you imagine yourself sitting on a circle, okay? Right, I'm in the middle of a circle. That's 365 degrees all the way around. So if you just take 3.8 degrees, a little piece of pie right out in front of you, it's 3.8 degrees, then if you're at 10x, which is as the widest, that's the widest that you can be zoomed out, that's gonna be your field of view. And there are more specs like it'll tell you at 100 yards, 3.8 degrees is, you know, whatever that math works out to be. I'm sure that, you know, somebody, uh, somebody who's super into geometry is like shaking their fist at me like, do the math, son. Yeah, I didn't do the math. Uh, but you can figure it out because it's pretty simple ge geometry. I almost said geography. Pretty simple geometry. So those are the specs, and, and I will tell you at low light, zoomed out to 10x is gonna give you, it's gonna catch more light than zoomed in. So the first 10, 15 minutes of the day, the last 10, 15 minutes of the day, I am zoomed all the way out to catch as much light as possible. Um, the rest of the time, you know, depending on what I'm glassing. If I'm glassing really far, I'm zoomed all the way in. And, you know, I, I'm, I like hunting whitetail deer. And so I'm glassing really slow, really slow, usually in the woods, tree lines or whatever. And I'm looking for a little, little ear, little tail, you know, something like that. And so I'm going really slow. And, and this thing, it, it'll pick them up. It'll pick them up. Uh, spot and stock. Uh, that's another great, great method of hunting. It's more of kind of like a Western way of hunting, but um, I find myself on public lands and, and doing spot and stocks um, here in Texas in the plains. And this works well for that too. If you're looking for great binoculars that aren't going to completely break the bank, I really recommend these Nikon action binoculars. I'll put a link down below for the best price I can find. I'm Seven from Lake Hub. Get out there and have some fun, guys.